Hello, in this video today, you will learn how to use Third Web's dashboard to create a rentable NFT using the ERC 4907 standard, which means that the owner of the NFT is able to give users temporary use of the NFT, but at the end still be able to retrieve the NFT after the user right expires. Now, before we dive into the video, if you do get any value out of our content, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to hear all about our awesome content on Web3 and blockchain development. So to get started, let's head over to the explore page here on Third Web, where you will be able to see all of these deployable contracts on the dashboard with the latest Web3 protocols, such as the most popular ERC721 and the ERC20 standards that users use to deploy their NFT drop or NFT tokens. For the rentable NFTs, we want to deploy the contract using the ERC4907 standard, which can be found under the NFT section here. And we can give it a read here on the documentation, which essentially says that this ERC4907 standard will facilitate the separation of the NFT ownership and sets an expiration of the usage right for the renter of the contract. Let's click on deploy now. Over here, you will see that there are multiple contract parameters that we have to fill out. The first one here is the collection name, which is typically shown on the NFT collection page on platforms like OpenSea or Magic Eden. And the next one here is the symbol for the collection. And for this NFT collection, I'll just call it RNFT, which essentially stands for rentable NFT. For royalty recipient, this represents the wallet or the contract address that will receive the royalty revenue from the NFT collection. And you can either make that yourself or anyone who you want to share the royalty revenue with. For royalty BPS, 100 royalty basis points is essentially equal to 1% of the royalty received. So you can calculate the royalty basis points based on your own preference. And I will just put zero for this case. Feel free to play around with the parameters a little bit and then select the desired blockchain to deploy your contract on. And for this one, I am just going to choose Go Early. And once you click on Deploy Now, confirm the transaction through your wallet and it will deploy the smart contract automatically. And the next thing we're going to do after we deploy the contract is to click on the NFTs tab and click on this button Mint here, which will pop open a page for us to enter the metadata of the NFT. So I am just going to go ahead and give it a name, call it Ninja, because I am going to use a Ninja profile picture. And I am going to drop my ninja picture into my NFT media here. And feel free to give your NFT a description, but for this one, I am just going to enter test. And if you want to add any advanced metadata, you also have the option to add some background color or external URL to direct your users to your own website as well. And once that's done, we can click on Mint NFT. This will trigger another transaction and we can just click on Confirm. So now that we have done minting the NFT, we want to set the expiration of the NFT so that we can determine when we want the NFT to be no longer be used by the user. And to do that, let's head over to the Explorer tab. And on the left-hand side here, we want to click on Set User. 
Here we can enter the token ID of the NFT that we want to rent out, the user of the NFT, and the expires field, which will tell you when the NFT will no longer be available. And this field only accepts a Unix timestamp, which we can generate using this website here. So let's say that I only want to rent out the NFT for 10 days. I'll enter January 30th, which is 10 days from the day that this recording was done. And I click on convert. And this set of numbers is essentially the Unix timestamp for January 30th of 2023. And let's copy that over and fill it into the expires field. Once we're done, let's click on Execute. This will trigger another transaction and we can just click on Confirm. Once the transaction goes through, you have essentially rented out your NFT. And to check the rental status, go ahead and click on User of function under the Read section. And here, enter the corresponding token ID of the NFT. And if the rental is still active, you should be able to see the address of the wallet that has been rented, rented out to. And in the case where the rental period of the NFT has expired or that the token ID is null, the address will be returning a zero. And now if you want to interact with your contract to create a more seamless experience for your users, you can go to the code tab and grab some of the code snippets created by Third Web to modify your contract. And we have the code in React, JavaScript, Python, and Go. And we have options for you to either read data or write data to your contract. And you can either choose to view the balance or royalty information of your data by using this code snippet here. Or if you want to write any data to your contract by approving or setting users for your contracts, you can also use the code snippet on the bottom here. So that's it about learning how to set up your own rental NFTs. Rental NFTs have a lot of use cases such as renting land, pieces of art, or even software licenses. Hope you had fun and lots to take away from this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment down below or join our Discord community and talk directly with our third web team. And if you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I hope to see you in the next video.